Welcome back to the channel. I'm getting ready for a uh, road trip to Moab, Utah, and I thought it'd be a good chance to uh, show you how I pack my bag for the day trips and photography trips I plan on taking while I'm out there. This setup is just for day hiking and photography. It's not for overnight camping or backpacking. For times that I'm doing that, I'll take a larger pack, uh, my 65 liter pack. For this trip, the hikes that I'm planning on doing are anywhere from one mile to 10 miles. So I'm packed according to that. I'm not gonna be doing any real wildlife photography. It's just gonna be landscape photography. So my gear is oriented for that, just for landscape, one to 10 mile hikes uh, in Moab, Utah. So first of all, the bag that I'm using. It's an Osprey Kestrel 36 liter. I've tried uh, various camera specific backpacks in the past such as Shimoda, um, I think an Atlas I've tried and they just weren't for me. I, I didn't like the comfort of them and they were a little too fussy for me with all of the, the pockets, the flaps, the zippers. Uh, they may work for you but for me I find the, uh, the Osprey pack is the most comfortable that I've used. So first off let me show you how I carry my camera gear. Inside, the gear is carried in a Tenba bag. And inside of here is where the main camera gear goes. So my body's a Sony A1. I've got the 100 to 400 on there and it fits in there just fine. I also carry a uh, Sony 16 to 35 and a Tamron 28 to 75. Now, I may not carry all these lenses for each trip. Again, it depends on just what uh, the hike is for the day. So if I'm just going for a long hike and I know what uh, landscape shots I want to get, I may just take the 16 to 35 with me to cut down on the weight. If I think there's possibility of some uh, wildlife on the, on the trail, such as uh, bighorn sheep or maybe pronghorns that I, I want to photograph, I'll take the 100 to 400. I won't be bringing my 200 to 600 on this trip just because it's too heavy and I don't plan on this being a wildlife specific trip. And then on occasion, I will take the 28 to 75 and maybe even on occasion, I'll only take the 28 to 75. The top of the bag, typically carry a small organizer that has blower, change of batteries, some lens cloths, lens wipes. I uh, even have an Apple AirTag in there. It's always good to put in your camera bag. Got a couple in here actually. And let's see, I've got a filter kit stored in here right now. It's the case, I believe this is the Wolverine kit that I bring with me. So that all fits on in the top. On the side, I carry my tripod in the water bottle holder. It's a Leo Photo LS285 CEX. So this is my uh, pretty much my go-to tripod. If I'm going to go for a long hike and I don't need the stability and I want to cut the weight down a little bit, I'll bring my Surui. I forget which model it is. That's what my uh, I'm recording on right now with my Sony ZV-1. Uh, so. I'll trade it off. If I'm going for a short trip and I know I want to set up a two camera setup, uh, I'll actually bring both of them. Stuff sack at the back or the stuff uh, area, gloves, put extra uh, puffy jacket if I'm uh, leaving and it's warm or and I, it's going to be cold later and I want to grab it or if it's cold when I leave and want to stuff it away, that goes in there. Uh, let's see, let's go to the bottom container, bottom compartment of the bag. I've got rain gear, I'm going to have a couple days of rain out there, so 
I have a uh, very lightweight set. I wouldn't want to be out in it in days, but for emergency situations, a uh, rain jacket and a pair of rain pants. I've got my vlogging kit if I take it. And then I've got my uh, emergency kit with my first aid kit, some cordage in it and anything else. There's compass in there as well, I believe. So carry that, my vlogging kit. So I've got my Sony ZV-1 on the tripod right now. I also have a uh, DJI Action 3. I've got DJI wireless microphone, which I'm using right now. Um, spare batteries for it. Any of the cords that I need for it as well up there. On the front of the bag, I've got a uh, capture clip. Really handy because I can put either of my uh, action camera in here or I can put my uh, uh, um, A1 on there as well, which is handy if uh, you know there's wildlife in the area, you want to clip it in, unclip it, or if you're taking a lot of photos. I used to use the Peak Design Clip, but uh, it, it never fit my straps very well so I changed over to this and I really like it it fits the strap so much better and I actually think it's a little bit more secure on uh, on holding the cameras in there as well so switched over to it I do use a bladder as you can see it's got its own sleeve inside of this backpack so that's handy uh, and I find it more useful to use a bladder it's easier to use than uh, a water bottle for me so I don't have to contort and you know do yoga exercises to be, be able to reach my bottle in the back so the bladder works out a little bit better for me. If I'm going to be on a long hike and I know there's not going to be any water in the area um, and it's going to be arid then uh, I'll, I'll bring an extra bottle as well if needed uh, with electrolytes in it. So I guess I should mention on the front of the pack of course on the hip pockets carry some electrolytes in there sunscreen, lip balm, energy bar, pretty typical to carry. If I'm going to be for a longer hike, I will bring along uh, a lunch with me, at least one meal. Uh, nothing that I have to cook. I don't carry any cookware. That's only if I'm going to do overnight trips, um, and I just stuff it in the bag. So that's pretty much it. So it's the Kestrel 38. I think I said 36 in the beginning. It's actually a 38. And uh, it's nice. Everything fits in there. <clears throat> Comfortable to carry. As I said, it's a little bit cheaper than uh, buying a camera specific gear. And this is what I packed for my trip. And pretty easy to get everything reloaded back in there as well. So the vlogging gear. Put my gloves in the stuff sack so I don't lose those. Lost enough of those on the trail before. Rain gear. First aid kit. In the bottom compartment. my accessory pouch back in the top filters in the top camera gear a1 with the 100 to 400 Tamron and the Sony 16 to 35 back in there tripod in the water bottle back in there strapped up
ready to go. So thanks for joining again. I'll have some uh, video coming over the next couple weeks in Moab. Really hoping so for, for some nice weather there. And I've been before, but always look forward to going back. So uh, have a great day. Get outside and enjoy it.